So a lot of times people think my name Kiyoshi is my spiritual name or my stage name, when in actuality, it's actually my birth name and my spiritual and stage name. So it's all that. Um, my mother gave it to me because it's a combination of her mother and father's name. It's actually a Japanese name. So my mother, she's Pacific Islander, uh, specifically Marshallese from the Marshall Islands on the group of islands she grew up in. Um, she was adopted by a, a couple and the mother um, was half Japanese. So my mother got raised in a, kind of an Asian upbringing. And in honor um, of of that, she named all of me and my siblings, all of her children, Japanese names. So we all have Japanese names. Uh, Kiyoshi is actually a combination of Kijirik and Yoshimi, which are her parents' names. So my mother married my father, a black man, musician who started playing um, instruments in high school. He was proficient on trombone. And yeah, music was a big part of his life and who he was. He was in the marching band. He's from Gary, Indiana, but he later moved to Saginaw when, after he married my mother. And they all gave birth to pretty pretty musical kids. My, my father put me on guitar at an early age. He was actually um, pretty known in the city of Saginaw for having um, really prestigious marching bands, uh, being the jazz band director. His jazz band in, in the late 80s actually won a lot of national awards. My father actually had my brother play saxophone at an early age. My brother became a professional jazz musician at the age of 14 and Akira Shelton, and he actually started producing. And uh, yeah, we grew up in a really musical household. Music was like the way for us to really channel our emotions, frustrations, and just have fun and, and connect with God. We also grew up in the church at the time, so there was a lot of music flowed in the household. And uh, yeah, I was heavily influenced by my brother playing music. He was producing a lot as I was a kid. And we later started to, um, yeah, record together. And so some of the first songs that I recorded were actually songs I recorded with my brother, Kira. A lot of them being Christian uh, songs. So I would, we were heavily involved in the church. My first raps and poems were actually Christian poems. So I'll be rapping and spitting poetry in, in high school. Um, then later got into um, poetry slams in high school, made the National Youth Poetry Slam team in, in Ann Arbor. Then I later joined the um, Ypsilanti uh, team. We competed in nationals when I was 19. And the art of poetry, writing, freestyling, um, and music in general were all ways for me to really gain more of a sense of myself, gain more confidence, and come out of my shell. I was pretty shy, reserved, and introverted as a high school teenager. And so really allowing myself to perform on stage were ways for me to express myself in ways that I've never done before. And over the years, I've developed techniques to, um, yeah, get over those humps and move through that fear which I now currently help clients with today because of my background. And then in college, I got into a lot of poetry slams, open mics, talent shows. I was part of a, a band called the Open Mic Affiliates. Me and my buddies in college at Eastern Michigan University in the early 2000s, we were rocking stages. I was also heavily involved um, in the community and performing in Ann Arbor in the southeastern Michigan underground hip hop scene. So, yeah, I was known around campus for for winning a lot of talent shows and doing a lot of, yeah, a lot of creative endeavors. And later on, booking my own shows and performing a lot in the 2000s and, and all, the, all the way into 2010, 2011, which is when I moved to California and got more involved in t into the holistic, conscious, spiritual scene. I started doing yoga in 2012 in California. I became a vegan around that time, started really changing my diet, my habits. And so that really influenced my music. Later on, you know, I started to perform, doing tours on the West Coast, meeting a lot of really incredible people, performing with my band. Uh, that we formed in later years. Jamie Shadowlight, Krista Richards, Damian Willis, and Open Optics. Really incredible, talented musicians. I just started performing even more, building up my name for myself in the, in the conscious community. I eventually started teaching people what I've been doing all these years and how it's transformed my life, the art of freestyle, live performance techniques, 
creating songs. So now I'm a coach teaching people these skills. Been very beautiful and rewarding. Looking to continue this for the rest of my life. So yeah, that's a little, little story about me. Much love, y'all.